Have you ever wanted to replay all deep dives, solo or with a team? Main focus of this project is to add an ability to replay any deep dive in single player or multiplayer with every parameter that they had at the time of release. That includes name, region, objectives, warnings, anomalies, enemies, resources and most importantly terrain. Of course you can use modification or in-game console, but you will be limited to missions 1 to 3 months old. With this tool you will be able to recreate any deep dive you want. The big question is, why would you want that? There are three groups of people who may find it interesting. First, people who have nostalgia for old missions. Maybe you want to replay your first deep dive again. Second group is people who want to speedrun the game. Normal missions will always change, deep dive will not. You can replay it again and again as long as you want. Third, people who miss part of the game because they were busy at the time. If you've been occupied with something and missed a deep dive, you can return to it. But there's more to that. You want to play new deep dive right here and now? You can do that. Don't want to wait a week for new Kohant assignment? Sure. Maybe you want to revisit certain events? It is possible. There is a way for all of that, but first you need to understand some things, because they might drive away some people. The original idea came from this guy. He has a tool called Blackbeard that is able to emulate deep dives and many other things. Unfortunately, it is outdated. I tried to replicate the whole process based on his work and it will work only on Steam version. To replay all deep dives, you will need to install website certificates, they are not official and use a tool called Goldberg Emulator. It is used to emulate Steam connection on local area network. Windows might be grumpy. If you will have trouble with the installation, usually the reason will be Windows Defender. It may delete files, won't let you launch some programs, turn it off. If for some reason you don't trust those things, all I can say, don't install the tool. I don't know any way around it. If you're okay with that, here's how to do it. First, you need to download the package that will contain some programs. Open the link in the description of this video, it will direct you to GitHub page. Then press green code button and select download zip. When download will be finished, open the file and extract deep dive emulator main any way you want. For me, it will be my games folder and I will rename it to Deepro Galactic Deep Dive Emulator. Then open the folder. Here you can find readme.md. Open it with any text editor. It will contain all information you need to install the package. If this video will be outdated or I will talk about using certain commands, just open and check it. Another big thing is multiplayer. Some steps are required for all players, some only for the person who will create lobby. And if you want to complete weekly assignments for yourself too, you will need to perform full installation like the person who will host. Now you need to block connection for the game. It must be done only for the person who will create lobby. Game gets information about deep dives, weekly assignments and events from a website. You need to block it so it will not interfere. To do that, start shortcuthosts.bat, then select notepad or any kind of text editor and press OK. The hosts file will be open. You need to add two lines for DIG Ghostship Decay and Services Ghostship Decay. Save the file and close it. Be aware that it will block connection for the normal game on Steam. You will not see or join anyone. To play with friends you will use separate game version that you will create yourself. But if you want to restore connection to play like you normally do, you need to put hash sign before the lines or delete them entirely. Remember, this is important. Second, you need to install XAMPP. This is a tool to create your own website with information you want. This step is required only for the person who will create lobby. By the way, this website will not go online. No one will ever see it. To install it, start shortcut install.bat. If you move the folder or rename it, you will need to start this bat file again. Next, you need to install certificates. Without them, game will not trust our website and will not load any information from it. Open certificates folder. For every file here you will need to open it, press install certificate. Next, select place all certificates in the following store, hit browse, select trusted root certification authorities, press ok, next, finish and ok. 
Then you need to press install certificate again. Select local machine. Press next. Select place all certificates in the following store. Browse. Trusted root certification authorities. OK. Next. Finish. OK. And OK. You installed only one certificate. You need to do the same for other file. After that, you can start the program. All you need to do is start shortcut exam. This will just launch the tool. You need to start the website. Press first start button. If the Apache turn green, website started without an issue. When you will be done playing to stop the website, you need to press stop, then right click on the tray icon and select quit. After all that, you need to download specific game version. This must be done by all players. If you just want to play random deep dives or maybe test things, you can use your current version. To recreate mission exactly how it was before, you need to download old version of the game. Make sure everyone got the same one. You can see the version in the lower left corner when you press escape in the game. If you intend to use current version, open Steam, right click on the Pro Galactic, select properties, local files, browse, then go back one folder, right click on the Pro Galactic and copy it. I will paste it in my games folder and rename it to Depro Galactic Current. If you intend to use old version, first you need to get information. Open list file. This is Excel sheet with all information about deep dives. There are lots of game versions and almost every deep dive has its own. It would be hard to download all of them, so I decided to show only one that will not change deep dive too much. It will stay 95% the same. Usually for every major update you need to download only one version. But if you want, I also included the original one. You just need to hit plus sign. So what version you need? Let's say I want to replay all deep dives from update season 01 rival incursion. For that I need to download version 1.35. You can look at the color. If you scroll down, you will see that Deep Dive 112 and 111 have a different shade of red with a bit different number. That means you will need to download another version specifically for those two missions, or you can skip them. For now, select the cell on the right of the version you need. We will return to it later. Now, how to download old game? There are two ways. Sometimes one of them will not work, you will need to use another. First one is Steam Console. To use it, open Steam, then open your browser and type in Steam Nav Console. Press Enter and open. This will open a console inside Steam. Type in command Download Depot, but don't press Enter. You need to change the word Manifest with square brackets included to the right number. Take it from Excel list. Press Enter. Wait until Depot Download Complete message pops up. Open the folder that is written here up to Depot 548431. Move it wherever you want and rename it. I will place it in my games folder and rename it to Depro Galactic and I will put the version number from Excel list to track the version. Second way is to use Depot Downloader. This is a third party tool to download old game versions using Steam Network. You need to put in your Steam account name and password. If this scares you, don't use it. To install it, open a link in your browser. Select deeperdownloader.zip on up-to-date tool. When download is finished, open the file, create a folder anywhere you want and open it. Copy all files from the archive to the folder. Now open Deep Dive Emulator folder, then Depot Downloader. Copy the bad file and paste it into the folder you created. Now edit the file. You need to change manifest with square brackets included to the right number. Take it from Excel list. Then you need to type in your Steam account name and password. Save the file and close it. Now make sure to exit from Steam and start depotdownloader.bat. Type in your Steam Guard password if you have it. Download will start. If it pauses for a moment, don't worry, it's probably downloading big file. Program will close itself when download is finished. Open the Depots folder, then 548431. Move the folder inside it. I will place it in my Games folder and rename it. 
After that, you need to copy your progress. Obviously, if you use the current version, you don't need to copy it, but you still need to rename it, so watch closely. Open Steam, right-click on the Pro Galactic, select Properties, Local Files, Browse. Then go to FSD. Make a copy of the saved folder. After that, open game version you downloaded. Then open FSD. Paste the folder you copied, open Save, Save Games, select the most recent file and rename it to Player. And you can delete other files. Now you need to install Goldberg Emulator. Open its folder in the Deep Dive Emulator, select all files here and copy them. Then open the game folder you downloaded. Go to Engine, Binaries, Third Party, Steamworks. Then open the Steam D151. This folder can have different names, keep that in mind. After that open Win64 and paste all copied files here. Then you need to open Steam Settings, Settings and Account Name TXT. Change player to anything you want, this will be your name inside the game. Now go back to Win64. To start the Pro Galactic, you need to launch Steam Client Loader. It's kinda hard to open this folder every time you want to play, so just create a shortcut. To play in single player, all you need to do is launch the shortcut you just made. It will launch completely separate game. Your Steam Vision progress and settings will not be affected anyhow. For multiplayer, you will require more steps. As your game now works only on LAN, you will need to create a virtual private network or VPN that will connect your friend's PC to your computer. It will not give you access to blocked website. That's a different thing. You can use any tool you want like Hamachi or Redmin VPN, but you will need to set it up yourself. When you will create a network, all you need to do is launch the game with shortcut you just made. Load in and press Shift Tab. This will open an overlay for Goldberg Emulator. If it will not appear, the problem is in another program that uses overlay. For example, River Tuna Statistics Server is a program that shows a face counter. It will interfere with the game. You need to turn it off before starting the game, but it may be possible to launch River Tuna after. When you will open the overlay, right click on the person in friends list and select Invite. Your friend should receive a message, then he must press escape and select join. You should connect without a problem. Now let's test everything. Connection must be blocked, exam started with website working and game launched with shortcut. Open the deep dive terminal, missions should be available to you. You can invite friends if you want. Of course you would want to change deep dives, events and assignments. Remember, every time you do that you need to restart the game. People who don't have XAMPP installed don't need to do this. To change deep dive, copy command deep dive from Excel list. Then in the deep dive emulator folder, start shortcut deep dive emulator deep dive DRG go ship decay. Remove everything in the file and paste the command you copied. Save the file and exit. After that, start shortcut deep dive emulator deep dive services go ship decay and do the same. Then copy the event command from Excel list. You need to launch shortcut deep dive emulator event for DRG go ship decay and services go ship decay. Add the event command, save the file and exit. Some events or absence of them will influence the deep dive generation. That's why you need to change the files. To make new weekly assignments, you need to launch shortcut deep dive emulator assignment for both files. Then change the number here. If you want to have the same one with the lobby host, you need to put the same numbers. You probably noticed that some deep dives are missing. Unfortunately, they are lost. Except, not really. You see, to generate a deep dive, game uses a unique number, SID for short. You can see it while playing the game in the lower left corner. All the versions did not show it. Rewatching someone's footage is pointless. But there is another way. Game saves the number in the save file. If someone didn't play the game for two or more years, they might still have it. Maybe you played the experimental version or tried the game on free weekend. Files are still on your computer. There is a chance to recover those deep dives. Obviously, you will need to use Hex Editor and it's not an easy task. So if you by any chance have the save file older than 4th of February 2021, you can try to contact me and give me the files. I will look into them myself.